Day 23 of my vlog every single day of August challenge and down 11 pounds. Pretty stoked about that. So my goal was 20 pounds, so I made it past my uh, 10 pound midpoint. And I feel like I'm really burning, my metabolism is really burning some fat. So I'm really, you know, uh, I feel like I, I'm like in the zone really burning some pounds off and stuff so just so what I'm doing is um, I'm eating better supposedly and well I had a brownie and a piece of pizza yesterday but I still lost weight so but um, so what I do is I only eat in an eight-hour window so I, I started I can eat at 1 8 1 p.m. and I stop eating at 9 p.m. I work late night so uh, if I work days like last week, I, I didn't eat till noon. So uh, I kind of moved the window around. And, uh, you know, don't start at the eight hour window, kind of work your way down, maybe a 12 hour window. And, you know, it's not really that bad because if you, you should be sleeping at least eight hours. So I sleep about six hours of it, six, seven hours of the non eating time. What it really does for me is those late night snacks, not eating those saves me a ton. So. That's really what I'm doing is not eating late night and trying to eat a little bit better. I'm eating chicken breast and squash zucchini, maybe a little onions and some broccoli. That's, that's what I'm eating mostly during the week. Weekends I can eat, you know, I try to keep keep it where I don't go too bad, but I'll, I'll, go, uh, uh, I'll go out to eat and stuff on the weekends and eat kind of normal on the weekends, but... Uh, diet's doing really good so uh, i went a little long on my video yesterday so i'm going to shorten it up just a little bit today a little bit more dry fire i think i'm going to focus just on one-handed shooting and stuff i got a lot of i know i got one stage uh this week that's uh, kind of the standards you got to shoot one-handed so that's what i'm going to focus on today all right so uh it's day 23 i'm going to work on my bilateral transfer drill a little bit it's uh uh, 10 shots strong hand, 10 shots weak hand, and I'm going to change shooting positions every time. So start off getting a nice, clean sight picture. Break. One knee. Break. Now I'll do it left-handed. I'm going to change targets so we can't. All right, so this is uh, Barrett Fallbush's uh, fundamental focus drill. And I was just going to try to demonstrate how I shoot it uh, dry fire. So this is kind of difficult shooting through the camera, but uh, hey, it's 
so this first top square up here is three shots real slow it's like uh, one and two and three so what I do on that is I make sure I got a good finger placement I like going a little bit deeper and I go one and two and three and I break it on the third shot and I try to get pretty good solid I find the wall pretty solid it's trigger prep I prep prep break on the last cadence because uh, if I break the shot trigger goes dead and I can't do the cadence like I like so this is how just a quick way of how I do it so then I find the next one it's a little bit faster so we're gonna go one two three and I'm trying to see make sure there's no movement in my front side it's what I'm really going for so line her up one two three Oh, see, it's moving a bunch there. Alright. One, two, three. And by the time we get down here, we should be moving pretty quick. Let's see where the square is at. There we go. One, two, three. all right and then this drill down here the lines we just line our sights up with the lines and get a good crisp break without moving any moving anything really let you know how important placement is because I'm shooting through the camera my arms are at a different angle so it works a lot different muscles and stuff and I can really feel it burning so doing something right Now these are the keyhole drills. I don't really like the name of this drill. Maybe a double tap or put two in the same hole drill, but uh, he'll buy you lunch if you put two in each shot, two in each one of these little bullet holes perfectly. And I can get one or two of them, but I can't do five in a row yet. So I got really close in class. But, of course, I missed up one of the first ones, so it was easy on the next ones because I didn't have any pressure, right? Let's try to get my uh, little natural rhythm and break the shot at the right time on these. I've already seen through the camera I really don't like this white paint I've put on my backside. I think I need to uh, black it out a little bit especially when it's a white I guess it's because it's a white target so it's giving me trouble I don't ever shoot white targets end of day 23 and I got I got I did get a little bit more dry fire in. I got a little bit more. I worked on a draw quite a bit, uh, you know, off camera and so. I had to cut my uh, Barrett Fawbush fundamental focus drill a little short. Dogs started barking, raising hell, making all kind of racket in the background. So I had to edit that down a little bit. But um, uh, I felt like I'm, I made a little bit of progress. You know, looking through the camera and lining your sights up, you know, is a different... It uses different muscles and stuff, and it, it's a lot harder. So, just to you know, relearn how to line your sights and stuff up. You know, uh, you know, 
it's almost like, you know, using a different gun for a little while when, you know, and you go back to your gun, you know, you have to relearn it a little bit, and, you know. So, um, you know, that's going good. And that, that bilateral transfer drill, the shooting one handed drill, that, uh, that's, that's always a good fundamental drill that gets you by. And, you know, you learn a lot by yourself, but it's really about, you know, a lot of it's, I work today on the trigger pull and the trigger prep and a trigger press and a trigger break. Just, you know, nice smooth breaks all the time. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, that trigger stock and it's just now starting to get a little bit broken. It, it's been pretty rough for a while. The big thing I did was I detailed, stripped and cleaned the slide and that really helped that trigger out a bunch. So, um. Uh, I'm excited about the weekend. It's nice and sunny the next few days, but it might rain Friday. And if it rains Friday, we're not going to be able to shoot Saturday. So we're still going to practice like we're going to shoot. And we'll still get some live fire on Friday. So that, you got that to look forward to.